always rep the team, win or lose. But I wanted to talk to you about something else. I'm not confused about where I stand on Team Canada. I'm a little confused on where I stand on Alex Radulov. Well, I'm not confused about him as a player. He's been fantastic for the Canadians. Nine goals, 20 assists, 29 points in 37 games. There is no confusion. Alex Radulov has been a huge help for Montreal. Where I get a little confused is revisionist history, and I've seen some of that recently. A lot of folks on Twitter climbing on their mighty white stallion in a full suit of armor going, remember all the foolish things that people were saying about Radulov this summer? And Radulov's doing great, so those people are feeling themselves a little bit, and that's understandable. But I think the reason some people were ticked off is the P.K. Subban trade was so fresh, and he was supposedly traded because of character issues, and then they immediately signed a guy with a history of character issues. Why are we pretending like we don't remember Nashville taking a chance on him, and then he broke curfew in the playoffs? Now, I'm not doing this to dump on Radulov. Quite the opposite. Alex Radulov is a great story of a turnaround, a comeback story, a redemption story. And that is his doing not the doing of anyone who supposedly called it. And then again, I can't even hate on fans for calling it because Habs fans kind of had a rough summer. And now, Montreal is first in the Atlantic with a 10-point cushion. You know what? I'd probably be saying I told you so too. Now let's watch the story of Radulov continue. Brendan Gallagher out for eight weeks. The Habs need Radulov now more than ever.